so we have done the stoichiometric we have done the impurity we now do the non stoichiometric defect and we had discussed what they are they actually disturb the whole stoichiometry of the solid that means you will no longer find the same formula valid okay that we otherwise otherwise arrive at by electrical neutrality by valency that will get disturbed okay and that is why they are called the non stoichiometric defects now so I will say that the ratio and hence the formula of the atoms gets disturbed ok gets disturbed ok they are basically of two types there is a metal excess defect there is a metal excess defect and there is a metal deficiency defect okay so metal excess and metal deficiency okay now let us let us try to discuss the metal excess defect so metal excess defect fine what is the metal excess defect let us say you have NaCl okay and you you have an environment of sodium atoms in vapor phase and you heat it there so what happens those sodium metals they start coming and getting deposited onto they start getting deposited onto the surface of NaCl fine now what happens what will happen due to that what will happen due to that now there is an excess of Na deposited over the the yeah so so for, so due to diffusion due to diffusion Cl atoms start coming towards towards the towards the surface and what happens there they react and form NaCl okay then what happens then what happens one 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 excess electron that is left by this Na that now becomes in majority so that starts diffusing into the crystal and many a times goes and resides from where the Cl has left okay from where the Cl minus has left okay <clears throat> so what happens so what happens you have got an electron at the vacancy site fine there is an electron at the vacancy side now what will happen now what will happen this this is called an f center it's a it's a german word right frabenzenger center or Fra, frazenger center Fraben, fraben center right hmm? fraben center fraben center means means the color center but now what happens they start behaving in a very peculiar way if you heat them okay or, or due to some thermal agitation the electrons go up and when they fall their energy level goes up and when they fall what happens they emit that radiation h nu e is equal to h nu 
and when they start emitting light in the visible range then actually these are the spots which are creating colors for the crystal the whole of the crystal that's why they are called Rabin center hmm? fine okay so maybe we can write when NaCl crystals heated in Na sodium in in an environment of in an environment environment of sodium atoms in gaseous phase what happens some sodium atoms get deposited on the surface get deposited on the surface now what happens due to this as a result <coughs> cl minus ions from the lattice diffuse to the surface diffuse to the surface and form nacl nacl okay now what the electrons released by na hmm when it converts to NaCl to Na plus sorry migrate into the into the spaces left by Cl atoms right and occupy it these vacancies these vacancies at lattice points these vacancies at lattice points are called Rabin Zenter. Farben. Farben Zenter. Farben Zenter. Okay. F. F. Center, right? F. Centers. Called color centers okay since excitation and resultant falling down of electrons releases electromagnetic radiation electromagnetic radiation in in invisible region invisible in invisible not not invisible it is in visible region okay impart peculiar color impart 
peculiar color. Example. Hmm? Yellow to NACL, right? Example, I am continuing here. Example, yellow to NACL. Okay? Pink to LICL. <clears throat> Pink to LICL. And I think lilac or to KCL, red. Okay? To, to potassium chloride, violet or lilac, violet or lilac to KCL. Fine. 